the Sunflowers piece. Tell us about that. Yeah, um, so it's a folk song. Um, uh, it was written by a Chinese, um, I guess, a composer who wrote the folk song and then a, another one uh, arranged it for piano. And um, I guess the general feeling is one of uplift and optimism. Um, it really feel like that kind of, um, yeah, I mean, the whole piece is just about that optimistic and uplift and joy that's kind of emitted through the lyrics of the song. And um, can you play the theme sure. of the song? Yeah. Uh -huh. Gorgeous, yeah. and, and it is optimistic. Yeah. It has a bell-like quality, which makes mm -hmm. me think of, uh, I suppose most Chinese people would recognize that song, yeah. right? It's no, a very sure. well-known song. It is, and yeah. um, it's something that I grew up used to hearing all the time. I, um, I mean, I'm very American, but at the same time, I definitely feel like I've grown in very Chinese cultures, and uh, my parents uh, really always told me about stories from their childhood, and about like the experiences that they went through during the Cultural Revolution, but also just the kind of music that they listened to. This was basically it. I mean, a lot of it was just Chinese folk songs and the Yellow River Concerto and um, things so that are kind of like known as propaganda material from for the, for, uh, the uh, country. But to I guess for the country people, it kind of felt a little bit differently because they really felt like it represented who they were and it kind of um, they used it as a kind of source for inspiration and happiness that they maybe couldn't find in their daily life. So I think for my parents, that's really was true, like using music as something, as a kind of distraction, I guess, from what they had been living through. Well, it's nice for us to get to hear it. 